Can you see what's going on over my shoulder? Can you see that? I am convinced that there is no better smell in the entire world than the smell of bacon frying. Uh. All right, I am making breakfast from leftovers again this morning. So I have some leftover potatoes that I made with the fish this week that I'm going to warm up for like home fries. And then Mike's going to get a chili and cheese omelet. So again, typical basic cheese omelet with some leftover pepper jack cheese. And I'm going to warm up some of the chili and pour right over the top. Never be afraid to use up your leftovers. All right, so today I'm starting that project that I talked about earlier in the week. I wanna be able to put a sleeper sofa, small one, in this room so that I don't have to use an air mattress when the kids come home to visit. So my goal is, my biggest dilemma is the desk like my desk is huge and it literally can't go on any other wall because of the wall space that it needs so my thinking is cleaning out this closet which it's not like it has a lot of stuff in it but it's stuff I could go through and cleaning out the shoes do I really need all those do I wear all those getting rid of this shoe rack and I could fit a love seat size sleeper sofa in here. I still need to be able to get my closet door open. I'm hoping. This is my goal. Um, if nothing else and I can't fit one in there, at least it gets rid of the shoe rack out of this room because it kind of is an eyesore, you know, I have kind of like office space and then I have kind of like, you know, dressing area type stuff. So let's see what I can get in these cubes. So I'm going to empty out this closet now. Ugh. All empty. Floor swept. Oh, I still have to go through the shoes, figure out what I'm doing with them. I wonder if the there isn't even space for the rack to sit in there because of these stupid things. Uh, okay, I did manage to get cookbooks and other books that I have unpacked, like my yearbooks and stuff here. I have a whole thing of books downstairs that aren't even unpacked from when we moved. But here's the condition of the rest of the house. Progress is being made. 
So here, these had to go back in the same spot. These are just extra large pictures that I have nowhere to hang here, but they're too big to be boxed. And down here I have a tote full of totes and my travel pillows. Spare bag of king size pillows. They don't get used, but I'm not ready to get rid of them yet because the pillows are still in really good shape. They're only spare because I had bought the um, my pillow that was advertised on TV. We replaced those with the my pillows, but again, these weren't that old, so I'm going to keep them. These are two regular size pillows. The kids use these when they come home, as well as the spare blankets, spare throws, and spare sheets. My purses are now all here. And I did get rid of two of them. That bin is full of curtains that I don't have any use for here, but I'm not gonna get rid of them because gunners are not gonna stay here forever, so you never know when I'm gonna need them again. And then the doggies, sweaters, and shirts are there. So I still have space up here, and I still have space here. I got rid of several pair of shoes. And I still have some space on my shelf. But I do have some of those fabric cubes. So I still have some little bins to go through. I can probably put stuff in there. And I put all my crossbody and clutches displayed them on that shelf so I'm getting there okay so I am done for the day I'm not done completely but I'm done for the day so I had to move a couple things around up here so pillows blankets this is full of Mike's spare baseball hats stripper hats um, face full face hat and gloves um, my 31 insulated bag and regular tote, and then I'm slot, I slid the throws and blankets down. Still purses. Anybody need a hanger? This is absurd. So I have kind of an empty shelf here. The only thing that's on it is Mike's thermosel mosquito repellent and the doggies coats at this point. Um, but I'm sure, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do with that shelf yet. Right now it's empty. The curtains, I moved the bag of totes on top of the curtains. Vacuum. Move the shoe rack into the closet. And then I stuck the, this suitcase here has the air bed in it. And then this hamper is full to the top with beach towels. Seriously, do I need that many beach towels? But they're all in really good shape and I want to get rid of them. And then this is just another spare. It's called a blanket scarf. And then this is one of those roll-up blankets that you use in the stands. It was from when Tia went to college. That's her university. So, yeah. Um, I still have to go through all these. This is stuff that was in the desk before we moved. And this is how I moved it. I put it all in little individual things. So I'm going to go through that stuff. All these bins were on the shelves in the closet. So some of this can fit in the desk and then some of it I can put again in one of those fabric cubes and put over there. So that'll get rid of all those bins. It'll free those up, which still lets that shelf empty in there, which is good. But my goal was to free up this whole area. Um, I think we have a little over 60 inches to see who's in the picture. <laughs> I think we have a little over 60 inches to play with from where the doors come out to the desk. And whatever we buy can butt right up against the desk. It's not going to matter. Um, so it's going to either be a love seat size sleeper, sofa, or a futon, worst case scenario. But it's still going to be better than digging out an air mattress every time they come home. The stuff we do to accommodate the children. All right, I'm starving. It's time to make dinner. And this is my pile that I need to go through. Everything here is either give away, throw away, or sell. All right, for dinner I have two turkey breast tenderloins here. So I'm just gonna drizzle them with some extra virgin olive oil. Pepper, salt, 
salt. Then I'm going to use some poultry seasoning. Which this is a combination of thyme, sage, marjoram, rosemary, black pepper, and nutmeg. I'm going to cover those with foil and pop them in the oven at 350 degrees for a good hour. Beautiful steamed broccoli. Some tomatoes, avocados, onion, fresh lime juice, extra virgin olive oil, cilantro, salt, all mixed together. I love this on my broccoli. And now let's pull this turkey out of the oven. Oh yum. Oh yum. Oh yum. Number one, where are we? What's the name of this place? Oh. What's the name of this place? I can't find a sign. Pharaoh. Pharaoh. The white one over on the other side there. Oh. Yeah, we'll All right. take a picture when we leave. Kiss me. Okay. Stop number one. Stop number two, we're getting free food. Hi. Hi. Everybody say hello. <laughs> Hi, baby. Are you the resident winery cat? Oh my gosh, look at her. She's so dear. Oh, She's soft. Honey, can we get a kitty? Oh, you need a cat. Come on. You're so mean. Stop number three. Where are we at? Spyglass Ridge Winery. Yep. There's a zoom zoom. Yeah, it is. There's a zoom zoom. It's quiet out here. Are you coming out of the bathroom anytime today? Yeah, I didn't even take time to wash you my hands. You did so. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I quit sticking that stupid hat in my purse. I am not your hat holder. God. Stop number four. Stop number four. You're ready, young lady. I am. You're messing oh, right. around. Get it all in. It's kind of all by its lonesome there. Oh, shit. <laughs> Are you there yet? Five minutes. Two and a half miles. Because I have to pee. Stop number five. We are in the middle of nowhere. Seriously. There and is nothing around. Day. Everywhere we've gone today has been in the middle of nowhere. No, the little random churches all by themselves just always have fascinated me. Looks like something on a postcard. Get our glasses. Okay, stop number six. That seems like an odd place to have a winery. We're in the middle of town. Um, and they have their, oh, I wish the wind was blowing. The open flag is actually hung upside down. <laughs> well, that is gonna do it for today. I just was nodding off on the chair. So if I look a little rough, sorry. Um, Oh my god, sorry. 
I'm wiped out. <laughs> so my mom had the dog for the day while we did the wineries. So when we got back, um, we visited with her and my stepdad and my grandma for a little bit. So we did not get back home here till a little after eight, I guess. Um, so that was a super fun day. Seven wineries we did. And um, next Saturday we are doing 10. And then we will have done, it's a, it's a wine trail. Um, it was our Christmas gift. We're tickets for these wine trail, this wine trail. So again, super fun, tasting wine all day. Um, I'm doing it again next weekend. So I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon. Good night.